Did you try to sell your home and well, it just didn't sell. And now you're wondering, what now? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley. I'm Katrina with the Three Step Realty Group in the Livermore and Tracy areas. When it comes to listing their home, most home sellers want three things. To make a lot of money, to put in minimal time and effort, and to sell quickly. But the reality is, selling a home is rarely that simple. And homeowners who try to do it themselves or receive poor advice can end up getting stuck months later with a property that hasn't sold. If this is you, don't panic. And if you don't want this to be you, well, we're going to talk about the three top reasons a home doesn't sell and action steps you can take to overcome each of these issues. Let's start with number one, bad timing. If your home didn't sell after months of being on the market, timing could have been a factor. Markets are driven by the law of supply and demand and real estate's no exception. When there are a lot of people who want to buy homes, demand, and a shortage of inventory, supply, it's considered a seller's market. During a seller's market, listings tend to get snapped up quickly. In a buyer's market, however, there are more homes for sale than buyers out there. This can cause homes to sell for less money and sit on the market for a longer period of time before receiving an offer. Economic factors like interest rates, affordability, domestic growth, and unemployment rates can all impact buyers' desire and demand. Over the past year, for example, higher mortgage rates have not only made it harder for some buyers to qualify for a home loan, but they've also greatly increased the home buyer's anticipated monthly mortgage payments. So even if a buyer was interested in your home, they may have passed on it just because they couldn't qualify for the mortgage at your asking price. You know, seasonal factors also, like weather, holidays, and school schedules, can also increase or reduce the activity and motivation of buyers. And unexpected events, such as natural disasters or stock market crashes, can cause some buyers to put a pause on their purchasing plans until conditions meet their needs. So what can you do? Well, if timing does appear to be a factor, delaying relisting your property may be the right thing to do. Of course, that's not feasible for every seller or desirable. In most cases, buyers can be motivated to act with a combination of improvements, incentives, and pricing. Where there's a will to sell, there's usually a way. Fortunately for sellers, people will always need a place to live and there will always be a percentage of the population who is motivated to buy quickly. If you suspect timing played a role in your inability to sell, consult with a knowledgeable realtor. We're in the field every day and have access to the latest market data. That means that we can estimate how long a home like yours should take to sell given the current market conditions and help ensure that your asking price is competitive. Number two, <laughs> poor impression. If your property received a lot of foot traffic but no offers, you may need to re-examine the first impression your home makes on buyers who visit your property. Start with your home structure and systems. Meaning, are there large cracks in the foundation? How about your doors and windows that might not properly close? Are there water stains on the walls or ceilings that could signal a leak? These things can be major red flags that scare away potential buyers. Next, let's examine your curb appeal. Does a yard need mowing or do the hedges need trimming? Are there oil stains in the driveway? Any peeling paint or rotting siding? If your home exterior looks like it may have been neglected, buyers may assume the entire house has been poorly maintained, and we don't want that. Now, let's move on to the interior of your home. Is it clean? Is there a noticeable odor? Have you taken time to depersonalize and declutter each room? Buyers need to be able to picture themselves in your home, but that's difficult amongst your family photos and personal collections. And oversized furniture and stuffed closets can also make a space seem small and cramped. So, what can you do? 
Well, when we take on a new listing, we always walk through it with the homeowner and suggest any repairs, updates, and decluttering that could be done to maximize its sales potential. We also share tips on how to prep a property before each showing. In some cases, we'll recommend that you utilize staging techniques to highlight your home's best features. That way it helps the buyers envision themselves living in the space. Home staging is one of the hottest trends in real estate. Well, because it works. I mean, according to the Real Estate Staging Association, professionally staged homes sell on an average of nine days faster and for $40,000 higher. And the National Association of Realtors suggests that staging can help push up your final sales price by as much as 20%. Some sellers choose to hire a professional home stager, while others opt to do it themselves. Using guidance from your agent, we can help you determine the appropriate budget and effort required to get your home sold. Now, number three, the price is just too high. Many homeowners are reluctant to drop their listing price, but the reality is buyers may not seriously consider your property if they think your home is overpriced for the market. Attitudes have changed since the Federal Reserve started hiking interest rates. Many of today's home buyers are no longer willing or able to pay as high of a price on a new home as they might have when borrowing costs were lower. If your home's original asking price was set using sales data from our market's most recent peak, well, then you may need to rethink your pricing strategy. So what can you do? If you aren't in a rush to sell your home, adjustments to timing or marketing may bring in a new pool of potential buyers and repairs, upgrades, and staging can increase the perceived value of your home, which may be enough to bring in a buyer to the table at your original list price. However, if you need to sell quickly or you've already exhausted all of those options, a price reduction may be necessary to get your home the attention it needs to sell. We at the Three Step Realty Group are local market experts and have access to the latest market data and comparable sales in your neighborhood. We can help you determine a realistic asking price for your home given today's current market conditions. Just reach out for a free home value assessment and we'll be there. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you're thinking about making a move, buying or selling a home, give us a call and we will be honored to be there for you. And if you've enjoyed this video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Of course, if you have a comment or any questions, drop it below for us. And lastly, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more real estate advice and news. Talk to you soon.